Uh, my name is Hilmar Weger Peterson. I am the CEO of CCP. Where did the idea of Eve Online originate from? Uh, the the idea uh, come from many different places, as sort of oft ideas often do. Uh, a lot of us that uh, were early at the company were at another company here in Iceland uh, that was doing VRML, virtual worlds. Uh, so we had like the sort of technology production understanding of how to make virtual worlds. Uh, but uh, uh, we didn't really find the market sort of in uh, with a generic thing. So we uh, spun out of that company and founded uh, CCP uh, and thought about making a space game. Uh, to us, that was a, an easier than making a, a game with the ground and avatars and houses and forests and all that. Uh, in space, uh, it's something that we could do quickly and we had a relatively small team. And of course, because it was space, it took inspiration from a lot of space games we have played as kids, like whether it's Elite or it's Privateer or it's Wing Commander uh, and all the space games that just come prior to EVE Online. You can probably find little inspiration threads from all of them woven into EVE Online. How have you seen this online game grow over the past decade? So um, initially when we released EVE Online, our wildest ideas were to have 150,000 subscribers after three years and then it would sort of start to taper off after that. And now after 10 years and we have half a million people and it's still growing and it's never uh, a bit bigger or frankly even growing faster than now, uh, then it's just, it, blow, it has blown all our minds. So following that growth has been like tremendously exciting, but it's also been very inspirational because most of the growth has really come in the relationship that we have with the players of EVE and their ability to shape the universe uh, both directly but also through us as a company. What do you feel sets this MMO apart from others? Uh, I think the, there's you could draw some obvious differences. I mean, EVE is a space game, it's a sci-fi game, it happens in the future. Uh, a lot of the MMOs in the world are maybe in the past or in the present, not a lot of sci-fi games. Uh, also, we have a single shared approach so that everyone is playing the same game uh, and also we uh, relinquish a lot of the control of the story over to the players. We often call EVE the infinitely scalable storytelling engine because it's something that goes just on and on and on because it's really the players that shape the destiny and the agenda of the universe. So I think we could sort of draw out these sort of three distinct features that make EVE different than other games. Where did the idea of single shard come from? Because that's very unique to CCP's games. Um, where did the idea come from? I, I think it's not really an idea. We're just really stubborn people. I mean, just decided to do it like that. It seemed like a, a very hard thing to do, and we like to do hard things. So, okay, let's then do it like that. And we'll just uh, find a way to make it work. And somehow, over the past 10 years, we've just always found a way to uh, tackle the technical challenges that follow uh, that sort of stubborn commitment to that challenge. What are the challenges in the online gaming space today with so many free-to-play games? Um, well, I think the challenge is, uh, I mean, certainly the challenge for us, uh, I mean, it's better to speak about that. I, the overall challenge is I, I don't think that much about it. I think, what is the challenge for us? And the challenge for us is really, okay, we've made EVE sort of thrive and grow in the first decade. How can we continue that uh, into a second decade and even a third and the next 50 years and frankly the next 100 years? And that means EVE Online has to be current. EVE Online has to stay a little bit ahead of the curve. Uh, some aspects of that have to do with business model and just uh, those kind of things. And I think generally the more you can just give people a choice, uh, the better that becomes. Uh, and of course, now that we have EVE Online, a subscription MMO, and we have Dust 4 a free-to-play shooter, then we have given people a choice on how to engage with the EVE universe. We will probably do more of this. Uh, but the main uh, challenge uh, uh, is to keep EVE Online, the space game experience, uh, relevant for a, another decade, and then continue to expand the EVE universe with new products that take advantage of new platforms and, and new business models.